Well, welcome to Southern British Columbia. This valley behind me is absolutely teeming with high alpine lakes. And crystal clear streams. For the next week, we're gonna be fly fishing all brand new locations to us. in hopes of getting on some big rainbow trout. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy. It's gonna be an awesome video. Really appreciate you guys joining. Let's get into it. Right now, my dad and I are at the top of a mountain about 2,400 feet above sea level. Absolutely beautiful morning out here on this crystal clear lake. Today we're targeting rainbow trout. Hopefully we can get a couple for a nice little meal later. I'll tell you guys what though, this morning's actually already been an adventure before the fishing started. It started out with a perfect drive, climbing up the mountain, everything was great. Get to a cattle grate on the road, go over it, somehow, friggin' boat, lurch forward, smashed one of the back windows in the truck. Couldn't believe it, absolutely ridiculous. Surveyed the damage, kept going, made it to the lake eventually, but hopefully we can get a few fish to compensate for this rough start, and hopefully it's not an omen for things to come. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You're on it. There we go, finally first fish of the day. Just passed a nice little log in the water and just smacked that little black bug. Nice. There's a net. Good eater size. That's what we call a perfect little eater right there, folks. <laughs> this guy's gonna get saved and we'll cook him up later. Oh, he just went in my backpack. It's been a good three or four hours since I caught that first trout. It's very distinct drop off around this lake here, very much like a little basin. So we're just working that edge structure, seeing if we can convert a few more. Big shout out to Rob Saunders for the tip on this particular lake. Gotta love having that local knowledge. He is one of our viewers, so we really appreciate you, Rob. Thank you for the support. Oh, yes. Oh yes. yeah, this is a good one. Yes. Like this is a good one. Hey, Richie with the first fish of the day, finally. Oh yeah. Nice, nice fish. Really nice. Nice. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Different strain than mine. He's got that pink strain. Yeah. Well, he's gonna get eaten too, so let's get him on the stringer and see if we can get a few more. Yeah. That was quite the first day out here in southern BC. Some crazy mishaps this morning with the back window. Took a bit of time to get on some fish. It was pretty cold overnight. They were really sluggish, but fish finally started to turn on. We were able to get two nice ones we'll have for a little snack. The fun is just beginning though. We are high up in Alpine country this morning. We're at about 3,500 feet above sea level. Navigated about an hour of some really primitive back roads out here. Absolutely beautiful lake behind us here. Super remote, no one in the area, no one out on the lake. We're just getting loaded up. We're gonna hit the water and hopefully we can start slamming some trout. Well, we left the homestead this morning. It was 18 degrees. And as we started climbing, got deeper into the forest, got up to the lake, it's down to eight degrees this morning. And even for July, it can really cool down up here, but it really keeps that lake water nice and cool so the fish are active. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, you're on, there we go. First fish of the day. Oh yeah, nice, nice fish. Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah, look at that. beautiful Tyler. fish. Whoa, look at the size of them. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, that's a start oh, to the yeah. day. Heck no, yeah, that's what bucks. I'm talking about. That's a beauty. <laughs> Take a foot. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, be careful, Pa. Here, let me hold him. Let me... Oh, yeah. Beautiful trout to start the day, Pops. 
Gotta love it. Yeah. Nice. There we go, guys. Just hooked up. Just got slammed. Swimming towards the boat here. Tyler. Nice flash there. Yeah. Hasn't hasn't started dancing yet, but. Oh wow! Look at that fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh, nice. Uh, there's the dances. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh man! Come on, baby. Right here. Heck yeah, there we go. Jesus, pa. Sorry, I, I thought he was going to jump right no, that's off. That's okay, there. that's okay. First rainbow of the day for me, just smashed the big brown woolly bugger. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll leave my line out here. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, third fish of the day. Oh. Tyler, he's big. Yeah, he's a big boy. Oh, look big at that. Boy. Look at that nice fish. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. That guy's thick. Oh, wow. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> awesome, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Yeah, that was nice. Did you get him on the jump? Is he still there? Yeah. You focus on that fish. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, look at him go. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. He's scrappy. Scrappy dude, for sure. Yeah. Oh. There he goes. Get him in there. Smiles all around. So now that the sun has finally poked his head out, we're seeing that this bay that we're in where we've been getting the most action is, is just a big mud flat. So there's bugs coming out all over the place. Right now we're seeing like pairs of trout cruising around right off the drop-offs in the edges. Whew, it's getting lucrative. Probably the guy that went by. Richie with another one. Just like, wow, massive one. Just jumped way off in the distance there. Man, you're like killing it today. Hopefully mine, he's taking you for a ride, eh? Uh, it's a smaller one, but... It's not too bad. Oh, he's going deep. <laughs> yeah, he wants to dig. <laughs> They're strong. That's oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a beauty. Another one. Freaking killer today. That's probably the guy we saw cruising around. <laughs> killer Richie just getting him today. So if you didn't catch it earlier, this was actually day four of the trip. And I wanted to bring you through what happened on day two and day three. So sit back and relax while we wait for the next bite. Well, day two, we decided to switch things up a little bit. Instead of hitting a lake, we decided we were gonna do a bit of river fishing, have a nice little hot dog roast. So we jumped in the truck and headed up to Ashnola country. Now the crazy thing about this area is last year, there was a massive forest fire that went through here. It was the Crater Mountain Fire in 2023. Shut this area down for a couple months and as you can see, just brought a lot of destruction to the area. But with that comes new growth. We made our way up the snaking roads through the mountains. Eventually we got to a beautiful little spot. Perfect for setting up camp for a couple hours. Got the rods rigged up. Got all the firewood. Got a fire pit yeah. built. We started doing some casting. A Little bit of a tough day. Didn't see any fish activity. Didn't get any fish while we were there, but man, it was nice to sit in the middle of nowhere, have a good hot dog, have some good laughs, have some chats, and you know, just enjoy the surroundings. Next day, we awoke to some heavy rain. Boat was loaded. We decided to head up to another lake we've never fished before in the nearby area. Nice little quiet lake, couple campsites. The rain started to slowly subside once we got out on the water. And we were able to hook up to a couple little rainbows. Yeah. Finally, first fish of the day. Doesn't feel very big, but here he is. Nice. Little guy. Nice, huh? Whoop. 
Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now he's fucking okay. <laughs> A little more powder on him though. That's nice. Beauty. We kept plugging away. We tried different flies, tried to get on a pattern, and it just didn't work, so we called it a day. Well, of course the GoPro did GoPro thing, but uh, friggin' hard fighting bow right there. Just picked them right off the edge. They all seem to be right on the drop-offs right now. Gotta love it, man. Just unbelievable fish out of this lake. That was cool. You gotta love it when you try a new spot out, everything goes accordingly and you get on a couple fish. Hell of a day today with the pops. See what the next one brings. Well, another day, another high alpine lake out here in Southern BC. Been really looking forward to trying this one out. It's fly fishing only, it's catch and release only. No fish are kept, all they can do is grow. Lake looks great, really nice weed growth in here. The water's crystal clear, so we're gonna throw the boat in and see what kind of trouble we can get in this morning. Let's get it. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see what happens. Already seeing fish rising, and bigger fish tend to be older and wiser though, so they might be a bit trickier to catch, but yeah, we'll see. We're not moving. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, so what you just saw there literally encapsulates what we've been seeing all morning on this lake. And I've changed my fly already about five different times, just trying to, every pass, try to key in on what they're eating because we're not really seeing any bugs except from dragonflies. Not even seeing any chrominid sh shucks or anything like that. So pretty cool stuff though. <laughs> even getting one here today would be unreal. That was a big one. And here we are, back full circle. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button if you did so you don't miss the next adventure. We'll see you guys at the next spot.